So you're ready to get started? Yeah, let's go. How old were you when you decided to start training and practicing to become good enough to be drafted into the NHL? Um, I don't know. I think I've been practicing since I was probably four or five years old, but uh, you no, know, I wasn't really practice. I was just having fun. So having a passion for the for the sport is, is going to be go a long way to helping you get there. Yeah, exactly. You just have to love to do it. I don't think uh, I don't think it's an issue of, of putting in time or, or something like that. You have to just make sure you're, you're having fun with it, and uh, if you enjoy to do it, keep doing it. But uh, if it's something where you're trying to put in time, uh, I don't think it's going to work. Terribly by Pandolfo. Now hurries in against Matt Pachuk, who played the puck with the Penguins in front. Ricky scores. Sidney Crosby, his first NHL point. Looks to cross ice. It's Ryan Whitney. Right to Crosby, a shot. He scores. Sidney Crosby. Here's Malkin, Orla Tang, has a lot of space, tries to pass, unbelievable feed to Crosby, he scores! Well, through the beauty of instant replay, we can tell you, Sidney Crosby's got his sixth goal of the season. Tonight, a milestone awaits for one of the greatest ever, as Penguins captain Sidney Crosby hits the ice for his 1,000th NHL game in a matchup with the New York Islanders. It came pretty quick, you know, once we started to play this year, I started to think about it a little bit, but you just try to treat it like another game. I wasn't thinking about it a whole lot, and then uh, it kind of just, it hit me, you know, the day of. It, you know, it was pretty hard just to, to keep it, you know, a regular game day with, with everything that was going on. Sid, congratulations on a thousand games. Your teammates uh, uh, On behalf of uh, all your teammates, some ex-teammates, and uh, the equipment staff, uh, the trainers, uh, we want to offer you uh, a nice personalized gift uh, for your thousand game. <laughs> congratulations. Thanks a lot. We wish you a, we wish you a thousand more. I was looking at the schedule and a lot of times when we have milestones prior to a game, uh, usually you adjust the meeting a little bit. I had a pretty good idea that there was something going on when they moved uh, the meetings, uh, meeting times around. Reflecting a lot today, um, it's gone by really fast, I can tell you that. I remember starting out with, uh, with Tanger and Gino, you know, the 15 years has flown by, but uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys um, for your support and uh, to this group, the coaches, the players. I love competing with you guys every night. Let's get a win tonight. Let's enjoy this. It's a privilege to play in this league, whether you play 10 games or 1,000. Um, there's nothing better than what you love every day. So thanks for this. I really appreciate it. 16 years ago, just the right player arrived at just the right time. And now three Stanley Cups and countless memories later, we celebrate the 1,000th game in the career of Sidney Crosby. The whole day was nice, to be honest. I mean, all the little details, all those little things, you don't expect them, but they definitely mean a lot, and they just add to the memory of the day. You know, when I think back to that day, you know, I probably won't remember the score or anything like that. It'll be all those little things throughout the day that I'll remember. You know when Sid undoes the skate and then does it up in one knee? Everybody did it at the same time. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. That is good. That's awesome. <laughs> First and foremost, we're going to take a giant breath here, inhale, enjoy everything that Sidney Crosby has brought to this great city so far. At this time, we invite Sidney to join his girlfriend, Kathy, to watch a very special video as both the Penguins and the NHL celebrate this remarkable moment in Sid's career. Hi, Sidney. Congratulations on a thousand games. What an amazing accomplishment. Hi, Sydney. Hi, dear. Wow, 1,000 games. What a great milestone. It seems like only yesterday that we were in New Jersey getting ready for your first game. You know, it's 1,000. It's crazy. I've been really fortunate to have my parents be at different different things over the years. This is the first kind of milestone or, or big big game that they they weren't able to be a part of so that was a little emotional because you know they're sitting on you know our family couch at home you know talking to me and you know the setting was uh was a little bit different than a typical ceremony but not any less special it was uh it was really cool to see all the the videos you are a leader a fierce competitor 
and one of the greatest players to ever play the game. It was a pleasure for me to be uh, next to you for all those great moments, but the most important thing is um, I got a friend and uh, you're going to be my friend forever. I want to say more goals for you, more points, more games, and of course, more cups. Best wishes for your family, for you. Good luck, your friend Gina. And pass me back. At this time, Sid is joined by teammates of Genny Malkin and Chris Letang, as together the team celebrates this incredible career milestone with their captain. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. You got me, you got me crying. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks. You want to get a picture of it? Hey, in the middle. Get in the middle. Thanks, buddy. Right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thousand games, it's a great number. It's it's a nice number, um, but it's just about the people and the friendships and the memories when you really think about it, when you break it down and you reflect a little bit. It's all those games that allow you to have, have those memories and those friendships. As Crosby and Barzell lean in, the puck is dropped. 1,000 games underway. Let's imagine you just arrived at Pittsburgh when you were drafted. What would you tell an 18-year-old version of yourself about playing in Pittsburgh? I would say that you're going to love it. It's a great sports town. If they were coming into the team that I was coming in, they should be really excited because uh, there's some amazing young players that you get to play with, that you get to grow with, learn. Marilyn Muse, your owner, and uh, you're going to have a chance to play with him. So that's probably what I would tell them.